Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and today we're taking it to the kitchen and talking about 10 kitchen essentials. Now if you know me at all, I cook a lot. I spend a lot of time in this kitchen, so I have really nailed down the things that I absolutely love and definitely would notice if I no longer had. So starting off, and everything will be linked in the description box below, is going to be this small spatula. Now I get it, it doesn't look like anything too special, and I thought the same thing when my parents first had it, but it truly is incredible. You can just get it under everything, it's nice and long, and you can flip things with such ease. I use this every day, and I always make sure it's washed and ready to go. Now number two is going to be this meat masher. So this one is from Pampered Chef. We also have another video going over how to make sure that you don't have dry meat if you have a problem with meal prepping. And this is the bomb dig. Now you still have to, you know, break up the meat and put in some effort, but it's so much easier than using a normal spatula and trying to break everything up. This is a game changer. I promise you, I've made a lot of meat. Now the next thing here is an electric salt grinder. I mean, do you need it or do you need it? I love this thing, not only because I love salt, so I'm an avid salt user, but it's just so easy to grab, hit, ready to go. Obviously, you can use a salt grinder and grind it yourself, but there's just something about this. It is incredible. I love this thing. Then next up, and this one is a game changer for sure, as I wipe all of the salt that I just got on the counter, it did not just all hit my hand, is going to be these oil pourers. That's a very hard thing to say back to back, oil pourer. But it comes in two sizes, and we have had these for years. Literally, we just got rid of the one that we've had for four plus years, using it every single day. Because if you are measuring the oil in a measuring spoon, you get it in the measuring spoon and then it's hard to get all of the oil out and you don't get it all. And especially if you have nails, you can't get your finger in there. So this is the way, the truth, and the life because you can just pop this little thing, the oil comes up and you can measure up how much oil you need to pour without having a mess or a fuss. This thing is the bomb. It's incredible. The next up here is gonna be another Pampered Chef and it's going to be this pan scraper. Again, I know it doesn't look too special, but as someone who has not only spent a lot of time in the kitchen, that means I've also washed a lot of dishes in the kitchen and this is the best for truly just being able to get off anything. I use it on my countertops if anything's ever stuck to my counters as well as anything stuck in a pan. This is incredible. It has rounded sides as well as a straight edge here. So you can use it to get just about anything off of anything. It's incredible. I feel very passionate about all of these products. Next up, again, when it comes to washing dishes, I've used a lot of different sponges, but the Scrub Daddy has won it. It has won it. You do wanna get the Scrub Caddy that goes in so you can just set it in your sink and it drains through. But I got, like everyone I know, Scrub Daddies for Christmas this year because they truly are the best. Now, when they are more dry, they are pretty abrasive, but as soon as you get them wet and you're able to squish it down, it's incredible. It doesn't leave a bunch of stink. It doesn't get all disgusting, especially if you have the little Caddy. This is been the best sponge that I've ever used for cleaning dishes. Now next up, this is a little bit of an odd one here, but it's actually going to be this wine holder that we use for our shaker bottles. So if you're into fitness as well, you probably have one too many shaker bottles and it can get pretty hard getting them all fit into your cabinet as well as if they're too tall for your cabinet and it's a whole mess. So instead of having them where they're all pushed back in the back of the cabinet, they can all be front and center. These are stackable so you can just plop them right on and you know if you don't want to use shaker bottles, they're great for holding wine because that's what they're supposed to be for. But these are great. We always get compliments when someone opens up our cabinet and sees these. It's so easy to grab and go. These are a game changer. 
Now next up are some of these bigger appliances behind me. So going into this, I do have this rice cooker. I can't say enough about this rice cooker and every single person that I have suggested it to raves about it as well. Now I can't take full credit. We did have a client, Ashley, get this for us and it has changed my life for the better, truthfully, because not that rice is that hard to make. I understand that rice is pretty easy to make in a pot but we all have gotten busy, let rice stay on the stove for far too long. And especially if you have a gas stove, you don't wanna leave that on and just walk away. You've had it just get crusted to the bottom of the pan and that stinks. But this thing, you cannot mess it up at all. It comes with its own little pot that you put in here. And any time that the rice is done, the, it's completely clean. I just have to rinse it off to make sure the residue is off, but there's never ever once been anything crusted and I have left the rice in here for over four hours before unattended because I forgot about it. And it was still perfectly fine because as a warming function, so as soon as it's done cooking your rice, it just sits there and keeps it where it needs to be until you're ready to remember that you made rice. But super duper easy. All you have to do when you're making this is push on, hit rice, push on again, that's it. And for the rice, another pro tip since we are here and we're friends, is once you have filled up the rice and you put the water in and you've rinsed your rice because that's what makes the best rice is rinsing it. Once you get the water in, what you need to do, you don't need to measure your water, just get your top of your finger, now not my fingernail, but the top of your finger to your first knuckle above the rice and fill it up to there and you'll have perfect rice every time. Again, I swear by this changes my life. It is the best. Perfect rice every time. Next up is going to be this Nutribullet. I actually just used it before filming this video. This gets used at least once a day in this household. Now, Alex, my husband, to hit his protein, he normally has to have a protein shake throughout the day, and he really fought me on making protein smoothies, and I finally made him one, and he is obsessed because these have the single serve little containers. They're so easy to just put it on, twist and go. I make protein smoothies in here. I also make, um, I have a pancake recipe where I make the batter with this and it is just so freaking easy. Again, it gets used at least once a day. We also have a big boy blender where I make peanut butter in it. So I do like having two blenders, but I really love this one for personal use on a day-to-day -day basis. Then of course, I couldn't not include an air fryer. I know everyone and their mom and their mom's mom has an air fryer, but again, it's the best. And it has really revolutionized the way that I take home food from restaurants because I'm sure some of you guys can relate to this. It used to be if I ever had any leftover fries on the off chance that there would be leftover fries, but let's say that there's leftover fries from a restaurant, I would basically be like, don't box them up. They're gonna be a soggy mess. When am I gonna put them in the microwave? That's not gonna happen. But since I got this bad boy, however long ago it was, and Ever since I got an air fryer, I have actually owned two air fryers. So I do own two of these. That's how much I love them because I will literally do double duty, but I'll also have one linked down below. It's a Ninja brand as well, and it has two baskets in one, and that one is a game changer. I just haven't pulled the trigger because our two air fryers are still working fine. Doesn't feel like I need to get another one, but you never know. It is incredible for any kind of potato, especially if you have freezer fries, it is incredible. You can make anything that is raw in here. So I've made from steak, cooked it raw, all the way to getting ready to eat it, as well as chicken. I have a lot of friends who will do shrimp or salmon in here, and that's a super easy cleanup. And especially if you are someone who 
is making meals for yourself or a smaller amount of people, it's really great instead of having to preheat the oven and get everything set, just to throw it in here, be ready to go. Also crisp up a lot of meals. So that's kind of what I was talking about within the fries is they are great reheated in here, being able to get all crispy. There are endless amount of things that you can do with an air fryer. So these are my 10 kitchen essentials or the things that I find essential and have truly bettered my life Again, I am in the kitchen really frequently. So these things, when I really look back, are the ones that I don't feel like people talk about enough and deserve some more praise. So definitely leave me a comment if you have any of these or you end up picking these up because I wanna know how much better your life has gotten because mine has gotten a whole heck of a lot better. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in any other fitness content or food content, we have lots of videos on our channel going over exercise execution, as well as going over nutrition tips, and we're gonna be getting more and more. And we also have a lot on the podcast, which is still on this channel, but also on podcast platforms so that you can get some more information but thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share as those all help us out.